All right, let's start by doing a little top water fishing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. What kind of fish is that? Was that a shark? Was that a shark, guys? I don't know. That was an awesome top water take, man. Holy crap. Whew. Dang. What on earth? There's no way that's a redfish, my friends. What on earth was that? Might be a shark. It is a shark. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Hasn't happened to me too often in shore, honestly. But, yep, uh, I think that's a, gosh. My shark people identify that freaking thing for me. Uh, what do I do here? Do I sacrifice my plug? <sighs> it's a lot of troubles. Let me try to safely release that thing. <sighs> he ate the badonka donk. That's kind of awesome, though, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I, think we, I think that was probably the safer thing to do. That'll make you sweat, right? Let's check the our frays. Uh, there's just so much structure here. Here yeah, we're all right. Uh, that spin fisher and night ranger rod can, yeah, I can handle it. That was probably a three and a half, four. Definitely the last thing I expected to hook. Okay, uh, I was a little surprised to see that, I'd say. Uh, I expected a black tip, if anything, and I was optimistic that might have been a Jack Creval. We do get a couple of Jack Cravals here uh, on occasion, but it's uh, very uh, inconsistent, I would say. All right, we've been throwing top water for like an hour or two. A lot of small speckled trout. I'm talking like toothpick size. I haven't seen any redfish. That was kind of what I was hoping to knock out early in the morning. I think we're going to make the move to some structure. We're going to fish some docks, I think. Uh, see what we can pluck along there. I'm gonna throw jigs shallow, like, you know, three to six, seven feet of water. It's a lot of boat traffic already. A lot of times you have to make a decision what you're gonna do, um, especially in the summertime. These, these bites are early, especially with heavy boat traffic, unfortunately. A lot of nice ledges here and stuff to fish, but yeah, like I said, you gotta make those decisions early sometimes.
Let's see what we got there. Oh, my goodness. It's been a good, uh, this would have been a great flounder season, obviously. Gosh, golly. Solid ass fish right there, huh? love fishing these docks it's so much fun I wish we could start keeping them that's a good fish right there man solid fish uh, this right here is a five inch zoom fluke with a three eighth ounce jig head I'm fishing in like eight nine feet of water I am seriously resisting the urge to sheep's head fish right now um, these drum are tough to come by I wanted to throw jigs at these docks for drum. I thought we were gonna have a pretty good day of fishing actually. So all we ended up finding was one good flounder. Uh, I looked for redfish primarily. I didn't fish crabs like a maniac for sheep's head. Uh, I just wanted to do something different. Didn't work out. We're gonna pick up tomorrow. I don't know. We're probably gonna stick with inshore. Maybe we'll go into the ocean. I don't know. Some beautiful weather but I gotta get going. Looks like I gotta start following the bait a little more. Uh, to do that more of that redfish stuff. I think a lot of these breads are probably tailing these these little finger mullets right now so uh can't really do the jack of all trades master of none kind of thing i gotta commit to an area and probably stick with one strategy can't do five <laughs> you know, can't target black drum sheep said redfish and flounder on a single trip anymore uh let's catch up on the sunrise tomorrow all right as advertised back out the next morning uh, a little bit of east winds we got a outgoing tide uh, water's 85 man we're hitting that summer, those summer temperatures. We need a little bit of a little bit of a cool down. Uh, my fishery is really determined by, uh, in my opinion, water clarity really determines what you might encounter in the summer months. Um, I've been here and seen Jack Cravals, Triple Tails, uh, a lot of fun stuff, Pompano, uh, but it has to do with what kind of ocean water you get. Oh, there we go. Something finally. Not the hot top water bite we wanted. Hopefully that's a trap. We'll keep one for dinner. Fresh trout's not too bad. It is a trick. Trip, trip, uh, Squatty. Yeah, work. That'll work quite well. This one wasn't going anywhere. All right, we'll have one trout for dinner. Can't keep flounder. And I don't want to make a hundred sheep's head videos, so I think the males make those grunting noises. Please, somebody fact check me. So, oh, a little bigger than I thought. Yeah, 17, 16, 17. Well, most of the trout in the summer I catch around here are about this size. Um, seems like the big ones are in the surf zone this time of year, at least around here. that time oh what that is a trap summer summer stuff man you can trout fish with top water okay we caught a couple of fish there we're gonna make a move to a totally different area code right now um, now we're gonna go structure fishing so we're gonna fish rocks we got a two mile rock jetty to fish so uh let's see what we can do here hmm what's the mo what's the move here you know i don't know about that shrimp i feel like i need more action do i go with the gulp do i make the decision and make the gulp decision let's do it you only live once four inch new penny Caught some nice black drum here and flounder, so occasionally you can get a black drum on a like a gulp shrimp, what I'm throwing here. I think right now though, the tide is too uh, high. Get a lot more fishable pockets. Gotta be on that side, not this side right now. Oh, 
There we go. Have to make a little move, but there we go. Far better fish to hook right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, not in the boat. In the kayak. Much better one. Not a bad speckled trout at all. <laughs> Far better than the ones that we're catching up on the oyster bar. I'm all about structure, man. That's all I care about. I do well on structure. One problem we're really encountering is this gulp is not lasting for more than a couple casts. We caught that trout. I think we got two more casts in. Uh, I don't know if we had a, I don't think we had another trout hit, honestly, but I think we had lots of croaker and pinfish. Oh boy, watch your ass here. Oh uh, yeah, that seems to be the main predicament. All right, well, we burned through a whole pack of gulp shrimp with one trout. All our tails and ligaments were cut off there. Um, you know, it's one of those things that Call it the cost of doing business. Let's try that. See how the Z-Man does here. I'm gonna re give this reevaluate. What's the best way to fish this after that? So with that, I'm gonna go to this stuff. Procurement Hayden. Better. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let me not beat him up too bad. All right. Flounders. Well, we switched off the gulp to the Procure because uh, the tail biters were loving, loving the gulp. And um, it's not a bad flounder. 17, 17 inches. Yes, the other day we had a uh, one about 21, 22. We've been getting a lot of 17 to 20, uh, oh, 20 inches. The old. That's a little guy. I was missing a lot of these, I think. A lot of those smaller trout, definitely a short strike and all that stuff. Make, it, make your life tough, you know? I was on a straight retrieve though. Well, I'm headed home now. It's tough here without flounder in July. July is um, summer, man. It's like real summer. You know, out in the ocean, maybe, you know, obviously the mackerels. You know, this kayak, it's tough to really do on, in the ocean what I do, do in the Hobie in it. It's a great kayak and it fishes backwater better than the Hobie in my opinion. But uh, the surf launching and the mileage, you know, every kayak has its pluses and minuses it's a tougher kayak obviously but the mileage it does wear me down more and most importantly the surf launches coupled with the higher center of gravity on these seats you know i take it more cautious in my old age <laughs> uh maybe maybe in my 20s i would have gave less of a sh but uh you know, I just, I've, I'm, I've had enough incidents, you know, nothing serious, but I've had it just been, been around the block enough. I just take it cautious. So uh, yeah, finder, please. Finder season can't come soon enough. So, cause then we can really just target those guys, which um, the bite's not that bad in shore right now for them. Um, there are some decent sized fish as we saw the other day, but we're pedaling home now. Uh, hopefully we'll be in in a minute or two. And then uh, we'll chat from there.